kick him in his nuts. Now, you gotta get him headshots. To make sure he's dead. YouTube, Funk Nation, it's your boy Funk, and we are here with a new series called The Terminal List. I've been told if you like Reacher, then you're more than likely will like The Terminal List. It stars Chris Pratt, Constant Wu, and Taylor Kishk. I'm sorry if I mispronounced their name, but from what I'm seeing, it has great reviews, and it's dealing with the character that Chris Pratt is playing, James Reese, and he's a Naval SEAL commander, which you already know, <laughs> military background, Navy here, hoorah. But anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing what's up with this series. I heard great things about it. So without a further ado, if you're new here, you don't know this. This video is sponsored by this like button and nobody. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe and that notification bell so you can stay up to date to amazing content that drops on this channel. With that being said, let's hop into episode one, the engram. Let's go. In the book of Judges, Gideon asks God how to choose his men for battle. Hmm. The Lord told Gideon to take his men down to the river and have them drink. This in San Diego? Gideon watched as some men knelt and drank with their eyes. Well, Chris Pratt, little Lane lost some weight in the face. Port on. Hmm. Ready? Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Okay, so two weeks ago. Bring it in. I was like, what happened? Confirms another attack is imminent. Wait, where's Donnie? I got him hooked up to an IV in medical. He's got a headache. A headache? He's just a hydrator for a run this morning. He's just freaking out because his wife's about to give birth. It's a boozer's baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you, Lacron. <laughs> for a second, I thought it was the dude from SEAL Team that was on Paramount Plus. Donnie, how you feeling? Like a fucking pit bull, sir. All right. <laughs> and let's see. We'll be swimming east to our target. We've got a high tide 0232. It's going to be a dark one. Ooh, the med. Med don't look like that. The med is not calm at all. Once you leave the Atlantic and hit the med, man, it's some rough seas out there. Best way to pass word is going to be to drop relays off at the entry point and any forks along the way. We should get comms back up and running. Once we hit the access point here in the crypt. Yep, it's personal for this kid. Connie gas his whole family. He'll be accompanying us on the op. I wonder why he's so nervous. Is this his first op? Is he going? I think he's going to die. It's like it's his first op. In the event that ship goes south, we got Rangers 10 mics out on QRF. Feel solid, sir. We keep it quiet. In and out. No one's going to even know we're there. When I first joined the Navy, I wanted to be SWIC, which are the people that drive the seals to, to shore like that on the boats, but couldn't pass a second qualification swim call. It was, I just couldn't pass it. I could pass third, I just couldn't get second. This motherfucker is ours. We are Alpha. Good. Eyes on the horizon, boys. Well, Chris Pratt then came a long way. I'm here for serious Pratt. It looks like that's blocked off. I wish they showed like them training up to the time of them actually getting to this area. Like in SEAL Team, they'll show them training for the op. Everybody knows where they're going, but I guess that was the little briefing they did in the beginning anyway, just real quick. I hope they do show that, like they train for the op and then they execute the op. I hope we do get see like parts of that. Ooh, is that a tripwire? Sir, six flagging. Oh. oh. The doll found it. We're going white light. Oh. 
Oh, that was close. Whole place is rigged. It's fucking landslide, sir. We're negative on the access point. Yes, sir. What? Who? Oh, wow. What do we got? We've got heavy contact rear. They need backup. Chief, I'm putting a fire team together and moving to the prone's position. Roger that. Move it. Oh. Oh, this. Don't tell me that whole squad is going down. Throw a net. There you go. All right, you getting tunnel vision. Get out of there before you get shot. Got more people coming. That's too loud. Damn. It's a bad off. Y'all need a choke point, man. There you go. Oh, there's a lot of them. I tell you, this must be his first op. It has to be. Man, that shit went sideways quick. What is? Oh no, he going hit the trip wire. What the hell is wrong? Why is he a seal? Why is he a seal if he was, how did he get through training? I knew something was up with him when, was, when they were on the, the boat. Just the way he was shaking and looking nervous. I'm like, he's gonna die. He lost his whole squad. Well, damn near. Was that a bird? Was that a, <laughs> that's mess. I know it ain't funny. Nope. Daddy. Oh. Oh, no, he's still there. Either he having a nightmare or he's still there. And they just played us. And he's... Yeah. Oh, that was a bad hit. Yo, they threw me for a loop. I thought I thought they went back to the future. Oh. Yo, they getting folded like fresh laundry right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, you might well. Yo, once you see those black hawks, you should not be trying to shoot at them. If I was an enemy squad and I saw that black hawk, I'm out. Unless you got a damn a Sam or a damn a rocket launcher. Damn. Shit, he lost his whole squad. Now he's gonna have survivor's remorse. Oh, that's sad, man. Hello? Mrs. Reese. Oh, it's his wife. 
James. Thank God. Laura, is that you? <laughs> They've been calling the families all night. Hmm. What happened? Talk to me. He ain't gonna be able to talk to you. Everybody's gone. They're all gone. Me and Boozer. That's it. I wonder where are they? Where's this fam dead? I love you. Just, just come home. I'm, I'm here for you. Hey. I have a bad case of survivor's remorse. This is Special Agent Robert Bridger, NCIS. I'm here in Sirlock Air Force Base with Special Agent. Oh, Sirlock Air Force Base. Okay. Lieutenant Commander James Reese. SEAL Team 7, regarding mission number 644, Odin Sword. We were tasked with supporting SDF and apprehending Dr. Jahan Kahani. Any intel related to his chemical weapons program tip came in two weeks ago. You red team this operation with... Commander William Cox. Any flags? They gonna try to pin all this shit on him. According to audio logs, you and Dark on comms roughly four mics in. Why? We encountered countermeasures, IEDs, maybe access points. Where were the IEDs located? Right here. If it was just IDs, it'd be nothing out of the ordinary, but they were armed loyalists waiting to ambush us. Special warfare operator second class Donnie Mitchell was unwell. Oh, the one that was dehydrated. The youngest member of your troop experienced some sort of episode during the operation shortly before he set off the explosion. Was that the same guy or that was a different guy? The one I was. It was the SDF trooper who panicked, not Donnie. Our mission log said it was Donnie Mitchell. No, it wasn't, okay? I was there. Yeah, because the dude that was unwell was the one that was dehydrated. What? Wait a minute, I'm getting these names confused. That's not how it went down. I know how it went down. The place was packed with explosives and armed loyalists and our SDF trooper lost his shit. Yeah, the one that I was like, something is wrong with him because he looked like this was his first the first op. What? All of the audio indicates it was Mitchell that triggered the explosion. Review the logs. Then let us know if you want to amend your statement. So confused. Good shape, Commander. All things considered. Of course he is, Doc. Look at him. My men are built to take a kick to the head. Brain trauma, physical injuries can heal quickly. Neural pathways may take more time. There are a few more tests we can run. I really like to get those done at Balboa if I can. I'd prefer to give you- huh. Balboa, out in San Diego. Unless you're grounding him, I'm okay with Reese flying. Work on and coordinate once he's stateside. Until your follow-up, take it easy. Plenty of rest. No alcohol. <laughs> you never can keep a Navy sailor down. We're gonna find Kahani. Somebody ratted them out. What we do, we're gonna scalp them. But why was... We're gonna have to just see when he gets there because the guy looked like it was his first op and he was nervous already. Long live the brotherhood. Can I get a whiskey, Nate? Who are we drinking to? The contractor or a reporter. You made a nightclub stamp on your wrist. They don't let service members in there. You never broke a fucking rule. Transport that flew out last night carrying 12 seals. Oh, good. Your press. Katie Burnick, Vault Stream News. Oh, my God. Commander, people still give a shit about what goes on over here. 12 seals lost and no one in command even issues a statement. What are they hiding? Yeah. Look like they trying to pin it on you. I'm going to get it from me or from Boozer. Who's Boozer? All right, where did he go? I don't leak stories, Miss Baronek. Was he, Im he wasn't imagining him, was he? I don't criticize your work. I question your assignments. You're hooting young on me. For your efforts. <laughs> Jump seat. Who is this? Steady, boss. Steady. Wonder if they gonna land at Naval Air Station, North Island. Hmm. Commander. Oh wow. Everyone offloaded, sir. Tried to wake you up a few times. Ooh, that's some strong PTSD right there, man. I could. 
That's my old duty station. Naval Air Station, North Island. I was like, he was saying Balboa, that's in San Diego. Did they film this on North Island? Shit looks like some of it. Like these little hangers right here, right next to Coronado. Thanks, Ben. Maybe we could just drive a little bit, clear my head. Oh, Coronado Bridge, they did. They did film this out there, holy shit. I used to hate going to work on that damn bridge. Cause like every other week, somebody's trying to jump off the bridge and traffic start. Who has the capability to alter our signals? What do you mean like disruption? Change our digital record. That is, that is a fucking high level EW capability. Make some calls, see if there's anything we're seeing. We'll start there. Yeah, cause he trying to pin that shit on you, man. <sighs> I miss San Diego. Where's his wife at? You would think she would be greeting him. He must didn't call her. All right. Daddy. Hello. Daddy. <laughs> hey, bug. Mommy said you wouldn't be home until tomorrow, but I knew it was going to be today. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Got a cape on. All right, Supergirl. I see. Why don't you go lay in bed and then Daddy can come and tuck you in in a second. I'll come find you. Come on. Okay, I'll see you in there. Wife looks very familiar. Barbecues will never be the same, right? Those are the people he will have barbecues and, you know get-togethers and stuff with what you been reading since i've been gone the girl who drank the moon it's about magic powers daddy's really tired so he's gonna go to bed okay and he needs to take a shower because he smells really bad <laughs> what's that over there a new drawing gosh you are getting good kid look at this you drew this i drew that before you left daddy i've never seen this before i showed it to you you liked it. Oh, don't tell me he got CTE. Or he, well, the doc said he was fine. He didn't have a concussion, so. I love you. I love you. He did hit that wall really hard after that blast. But see, that's the thing, though. His memory would have been triggered after the blast. All the stuff he said was before the blast. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I need to know who was in that team. Hey, why don't you start by telling daddy about the new activity we've been doing? While you were gone. So weird. He does, doesn't look like Chris Pratt when he clean shaved. It's just weird because we always see him with a little beard or something. You want to come, daddy? I know you like it. Last time I did surfing, uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a disaster, remember? <laughs> we'll start off at La Jolla Cove really early in the morning. <sighs> La Jolla Cove. Got some memories over there. Rajan said Mission We're Beach. All famous cinnamon rolls. What do you think? Should we eat these? Okay. He had delayed reaction to the heat of that. Cause I was hearing the cause I'm like, what? It's Warcom. Warcom. This is Reese. Yes, sir. I'll be right there. What happened? Just like y'all say in the comments, just shut up and watch. Oh shit, they implanted evidence. I have to go. Reese, Captain Howard, where is Boozer? I'm sorry, the coroner just took the body. We're standing by for a meeting. It's gonna be in about 30 minutes. Oh, Boozer was real. He was just the buddy that he was drinking with. I have a few questions I need to ask you. He killed himself or someone killed him? I was with this man yesterday and he was fine. Sorry, yesterday? Yeah. Flew home from Inserlik together and he was fine. That's not possible. Vickers shot himself two days ago. No, I'm sorry. You're fucking wrong. What? The commander just returned from combat. Right, yeah, with Vickers yesterday. PO1 Vickers flew home with the bodies of your man two days ago. Later that night, he took his own life. I'm so confused. So confused. Reese. 
We don't have to do this today. You could take some time. I would if I thought I could wait. Okay. Sir, it is my belief that this was a targeted attack on Alpha Platoon. This is a trap. Nothing in this file adds up. That file adds up. It makes perfect sense once you realize somebody has manipulated our audio record. And if I'm right, we cannot let our men operate in that theater, not until we figure out who has that technology, who has the capability to do such a thing, and who would set us up. What happened to Petty Officer Vickers? Uh, according to NCIS, you question the timeline of Vickers' death. Uh, yes, my timeline is a little fuzzy. The commander suffered a significant <laughs> concussion on mission. He's, he's dealing with some repercussions. Might these repercussions be Effect. affecting your memory of the operation? Holy shit. I admire your commitment. He's in an awkward position here. He can't... Moving up from enlisted sniper to troop commander is no small feat, and at 40, you're still to the spear. But you need to get yourself right. Mm. Lose the five o'clock shadow when you're in garrison. People look to us to set a tone, especially now. Mm. Yes, sir. Every SEAL in the platoon will receive a posthumous Silver Star, including Vickers. They confirmed a self-inflicted wound, nine millimeter. He shot himself with his team pistol? It was his own sake. I believe it was a platoon gift. What? What do you know about that pistol? Like, light bulb went off when he brought it up anything wrong with this bullet <sighs> like what the caliber I love my sig loser his favorite pistol was the custom 1911 45 huh he hated the team nine millimeters hated him we would always debate the virtues nine millimeter 45 on a higher capacity magazine you want more lead more lead yeah velocity now range he always wanted the 45 he said, if you're going to destroy something, destroy it. Don't poke a bunch of holes in it. <laughs> he always carried a 45, so yeah. They might be able to fake evidence. They can't fake Boozer. Could have assets killing seals in Coronado. That's what you're telling me. It's a little bit low, slower pace than Reacher. Maybe Boozer chose the team gun to send a message. His way to say goodbye. You know, why don't you lower him loose? Take the boat for a weekend. Oh, so you can get a get away. I think I'm losing my mind. Mm. I think you got your deck shuffled pretty fucking good, though. And if you feel anything is off, anything, call me. All right, one more beer. You ain't supposed to be drinking, sir. Oh, I said September 13th. I was thinking that she was talking about Benghazi, but Benghazi didn't happen until September 11, 2012. So that was September 13th, 2007. I appreciate the sacrifice you all have made. Silver Star recipient, Petty Officer First Class Victor Ramirez. Fort. Oh. I know some of these wives are like, why did they have to die and you come home? I know it is. There's always that one. Ready? Aim. Fire. Is he on Cippernet? Feel like he's logging into Cippernet. Yep. As we honor a cherished member of this community, Special Warfare Operator Second Class, Donald Mitchell. Fire. I know it's unfair what we ask of you. Today, we honor the loss of Silver Star recipient, Petty Officer Ernest Boozer Vickers. Mm. Commander Reese. Ma'am. Mrs. Reese, the Admiral's wife, told me all about you. May I borrow your husband? Where's... I'm going to call it. I'm not much of a politician. I might be wrong, but I'm mind. calling I it. Do what I want. Press in public be damned. Yes, ma'am. I think she has a hand in it somewhere. I'll tell you why in a minute. I'm putting you in for the Navy Cross. No, I don't deserve that. Yeah, you do. You insisted on helping your men. And it shows the SEALs who are heading back out into the theater that we stand by our operators no matter what. See, I was told operations were on hold while we chased the intelligence failure. We found your man, Musa. He had a hole in his head and... Huh. How convenient. When Kahani's dead, he'll be the first to know. 
they could have just left the secretary alone after the the whole speech and everything but they introduce her to him about the navy cross and everything which is kind of weird somebody following him mallory's wife didn't even show up i mean loser deserved more than that did you call the clinic to schedule the mri james is someone following now don't panic yet just switch lanes and see if they follow you real quick oh oh y'all almost home now this car pops up at the end of the road i don't know that secretary of state madam secretary um might not be a whole villain but she got a hand into something i just i got a weird feeling just the way she walked up to him and just insisting the navy cross hmm. Nothing bad happened to his family. That's not the same car. It looked like a hatchback. You see that great car right there? Right there. Just parked. It was at the funeral that followed us here. Go inside. Get Lucy. Oh, you know what? It's probably the wife of the of the a boomer or whoever funeral they just came from. Probably the wife. And she just couldn't show her face because she couldn't handle being there. Or Somebody is following them from the command. Could be NCIS. Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm sorry, Commander. I just huh. needed to meet you away from the teams. Why you just didn't send an email? Can I get you a tea or something? Please? That's okay. This will be quick. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay. Um, thank you. I'm gonna put Lucy to bed. The only easy day was yesterday. Well, that was <laughs> something. I'm, I'm glad you reached out to me. So for the past two years, your troop has alternated between... I didn't reach out to you to talk off tempo ratios. I asked you who I was with when we met in Encerlik. No, that's not what you asked me, though, is it? I mean, not exactly. I looked into your friend's death, PO1 Vickers. Who's her, right? This is his death certificate. Some is off, isn't it? Look at the date. Look at it! <laughs> Take me forever. He was already dead. You're in Coronado the day I met you in Insur Lake. There are people who need to be held responsible. Right, it's time for you to go. Mm. Listen, I know you think I'm the enemy, but all I care about is the truth. And if a broken system put you and your men in a shitty situation. Thank you for your time. Do the bar have a camera? Like, go go check the bar. I'm in town for the next week. So if you change your mind. You know what'd be crazy? If she goes to the bar, look at the camera and sees him there and be like, you are right. We're gonna find God. When we do, we're gonna scalp him. I'm with the brotherhood. Why you didn't go back and ask the bar bartender? The bartender was pouring y'all drinks, right? Or is it all in your head, sir? Shit, I need one of those safes. I think something happened to me. What if something didn't happen to you on that op and you're right and everything was altered, but he did hit that wall very hard. So when our memory pathways get disrupted, it can lead to things like conflation, old memories overlap with new ones. So a memory from a year ago feels like it happened yesterday. That could be caused by a concussion. It could. With your permission, we'll take a closer look. Is that the same guy that played Adam in Zack Snyder's Justice League? I'll come get you once it's over. Well, he didn't really play the Adam. He played, fuck, I forgot his name. Troy, what, fuck, whatever his name was. I hate that noise. I hope he don't have Doing a- great, James. Just relax. The next and longest phase of the scan is about to begin. Hope he don't have PTSD here and all that knocking. Yep. I knew it. Oh. I want to know what's going on. Oh. Where's the doctor at? Oh shit. Fucking ghost? <laughs> Modern warfare? The fuck is this shit? All right, I didn't see this coming. Is he dreaming this or is this for real? Who the fuck is that in the... What the fuck is that in the window? Oh. Oh, 
Oh no, this shit real. <laughs> that man probably got a vest on though. Take off the mask. You need to see his face. Ooh, 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 ooh. Elbow, do Reacher. Do the elbow. Oh. <laughs> you did it. Oh. God, he caught the damn elbow though. Oh, he, ha, he got a vest on. Kick him in his nuts. Shit! Get that elbow in them nuts. Bite him! <laughs> they do the Goku. Headshot. Damn. You gotta get him headshots. Make sure he's dead. Yeah. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Oh. Be careful. Oh, they killed the... Damn. What? That's his service? Oh, what the hell? Who the fuck did he kill? Bro, I swear to God, they probably did not kill his family. It's real. They just tried to kill they me. They had my gun. Take Lucy, get her out of the house now. They didn't kill his family. I just... Bro, I swear to God, they better not have killed his family, yo. This is Lieutenant Commander James Reese. You need to send patrol units to 423 Cayman Street. They gonna blame all this shit on him because of his mental state. Somebody probably came in there, cleaned up the body, that one with the mask on, took his body out. He had his own service pistol, and they gonna say he shot everybody in there. Watch. They already killed his family. Bro, I swear to God. Door gonna be open. Watch. Please don't let them, please. And they probably use his service pistol to kill him. And they gonna say he killed him. Yeah. You fucking sent me, man. You really? I bet they killed him with his service pistol too. They gonna blame this shit on him. We haven't been with the, the mom, the wife, or his daughter, and I already feel it. Now they gonna sit here and say, because his mental capacity that he killed his family. I don't know. That ending though, I did not see that coming. I thought he was dreaming, but I was like, nah, this shit real. This this is them real bullets. But I something told me they was gonna kill his family. I was like, they better not kill his family. And that the madam secretary, something's up with her. Well, for episode one, it was a little slow burn. So in the beginning we had action, which was great. Then we had this long slow burn, trying to understand what the hell happened on that op. And then at the end, we get this out of nowhere attempt to kill Reese. And you know, it leads to the death of his family. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. I believe he is right. Somebody is out there that gave him bad intel and they are actually manipulating all the audio from their op and you know what maybe he is still having some concussion issues from getting thrown into the wall from that blast but i thought boozer was the guy that needed fluids because of the fact he was dehydrated and then there was a guy that was shaking when they were on the boat or on the plane when they was going towards the op and he was just shaking like he was nervous like it was his first op maybe he had something to do with it maybe he was the one that okay if you don't do this we're killing your whole family but you need to do this to make sure this op fails or something or he snitched on something i don't know that's why ncis is there trying to figure out if anybody probably was coerced or whatnot i'm tuned in i'm about to go watch episode two but man ooh we so i'm looking forward to seeing what this next episode is going to be like because there's a lot of questions so have you seen episode one of the terminal list if so put in the comments below let me know what you think about this show so far if you have already seen the entire series let me know what you think about the series with no spoilers and i'll see y'all in the next video or stream deuces